Hello, bassoons. Okay, so today what we're doing is we're talking about and demonstrating how you are going to um, not only produce a sound, but make a steady sound that doesn't change your move, okay? The first thing you have to do is with your reed, you have to make sure that you are soaking it in a cup of water, okay? Completely to where it is completely underneath the water. So you should have a teeny tiny cup about this big. You're gonna fill the cup up full with water. You're gonna put the bassoon reed in the water and soak the bassoon reed so it's very wet, okay? We're gonna put it in our mouth and make sure that all the excess water and excess spit is kind of sucked off. Also, when you're looking at your reed, I don't know if you can see, it's supposed to kind of look like a duck bill. Can you kind of see? Sometimes it'll be like too smushed closed or sometimes it'll be too open and then it won't really work very well, okay? When you place the reed onto the vocal, okay, you have to make sure that it's on pretty secure and it's going to be parallel. So when you're looking at it, the reed is flat while you're holding the vocal. Now, when we hold the vocal to play, we're gonna put our right hand where the crook is, okay? The way that I like to talk about it, which you should have seen the video already, you're gonna create a pillow, okay, over your bottom teeth for the reed, okay? You'll set the reed on your bottom teeth, and then your top lip is gonna reach and you're gonna push the reed in your mouth a little bit more. So watch, here's my pillow. And I'm putting about this much of the reed in my mouth. It's going to where it's almost touching, on the bottom here, it's almost touching the wire, okay? Then I'm gonna reach with my top lip and pull my top lip in my mouth. Now what happens is it creates kind of this circular squeezed in looking face. Like if you, uh had a really thick milkshake and you're gonna suck the straw. Okay, it's kind of what's happening. So place on your, on your pillow and you're gonna reach and pull your corners in. Now the reason it looks so silly is because my teeth in the back are super open, okay? I'm gonna breathe in through my nose and I'm gonna blow out through my mouth. Okay, listen one time. Okay, I'm gonna do it again, and this time I'm gonna speed up my air. I'm gonna turn the side so that you can see my embouchure a little bit better. I'm gonna make my pillow, place my reed, reach with my top lip. <laughs> Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm going to do this four times. You're gonna place, reach, keep your mouth open, breathe in, blow out. And if it sounds like this, you're just not blowing fast enough air. Okay, so placing, reaching. What I would like for you to do now is I'm going to play and you're going to echo. So it's going to be like this. Me, you, me. We're going to do it back and forth four times. There we go. Reaching, touching. to not move your face. If you move your face, it changes the pitch of the note. Listen. Okay, the, the goal is to keep it the same. I kind of did it, but 
Okay, there you go. Happy practicing.